How's it going everybody? I'm Steve and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I want to announce two more digital co-giveaways. Uh, these two movies, if you've seen the thumbnail, you know, these, these, these movies are quite different from each other, but they, I, I like really both of them from 2023. Uh, one's a Best Picture nominee and the other one's a, a big time horror movie from last year, I think. So uh, before I do that, uh, I do want to uh, bring back my old intro. And this is the reason why I don't really show this at the beginning of videos anymore, because it's really loud and I kind of like to know what people kind of think of it. So, uh, so roll thunder. So there's my old uh, intro. And, and I think the reason why I stopped using that is because I, I think I'm kind of afraid that people, if, if they've had the, like the volume up on their videos uh, too loud, that if they hear that intro, it might really startle some people. Uh, you know, like some people on like YouTube, you, you'll see some videos where you have to turn the volume up really loud and some videos you have to turn the volume down. And I'm kind of afraid that if somebody had the, you know, had the, the volume up really loud from the from the, the previous video and then my video comes on and it's just a this really kind of startling kind of intro I, I I'm afraid that some people are just kind of like drop my channel because of that so that's the reason why I changed it to the the more kind of tranquil kind of intro so kind of let me know what you think which one is really the best one because you know I think if I do like uh, I, I've done that with some of my, my recent Criterion hauls where where I've you know, actually gone out to to look at Criterions at Barnes and Noble. And I, I've uh, you know, done like a little intro, and then then I'll do like a roll thunder, and then you'll hear that intro, and I, I really like that 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 kind of intro. And so maybe if I give people a little bit of a warning before I before I play the, the intro, that maybe they they might uh, be at least kind of prepared for it a little bit. So so let me know what you think of that one, because I, I I like I said that that was my original intro, and I, I really like it. But uh, so tonight, uh, I, if you've seen the like I said the the, the intro there, you'll see. I'm uh, going to be giving away the digital codes to Thanksgiving. This is uh, from Eli Roth. You know, I, I love this movie, and and, and I, I'm not even a big fan of Eli Roth, really. Uh, you know, I, I I think Eli, I I like him overall from from you know from what I've seen from his interviews. I I think he's a, he's a nice guy, but I, I just don't like his movies all that much. I, I think he, what do you do like Cabin Fever? I, I thought that movie was okay. I, I have not seen it in in a quite a while, but. Uh, but you know, I, I you know as far as this, I, I really like the the, uh, the the commentary that he did on this. I, I guess he he co-wrote this movie with uh, like somebody he's known since like kindergarten back in like in Massachusetts when he lived there, and uh, you know they, they've talked about doing a Thanksgiving movie for, for like the last 15 years, and it ended up being like one one of my favorite movies you know, from last year, and it's just a, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of comedy in it and. You know, it, I think there's like one scene that's kind of like the, the like his kind of torture style, which I, I'm not really a big fan of, like Hostel, Hostel 2 necessarily. Uh, I'm sure if, if you like those movies, that, that's, that's fine. But there, there's like one scene in this movie that, that kind of brings back that, that kind of style. But it's, it's, it's almost like, kind of like comical in some ways. But, uh, you know, but I've seen Eli Roth in like, a, he, he has that, that show, it's called a Eli, Eli Roth's History of Horror. And I, I think that's a great show. And I, I think he's... He's obviously a big time, you know, fan of horror movies and knows the history, and he's he's a great interviewer. And I, so it, I really love love that show. You know, I, I think he's really great on that. And I, I really like the commentary he did on this. So you know, I, I I've learned some respect for Eli Roth because I, I saw something on YouTube where he's like, he's uh, he's talking to people about stuff that he like like movies he watched in like film school. And he has this this classic knowledge of the of these. Uh, just these these great movies. Not none of these were horror movies. They were just you know classic movies that that he learned in, in you know in film school stuff that you would see like on Criterion that kind of thing. And but he you know he, he loves horror movies and so he, he chose that path. And obviously you can make money you know making horror movies and, and so it's they're 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 much more uh, popular than 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 a, you know th those movies horror movies are usually really low budget. And you can get a lot of you can have a big return on them. That's why studios are like with the young directors, they, they like to assign horror movies to them because it, 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 it's not a big budget. You know, they don't have a big inve investment in the movie, and and horror movies t tend to have a big turnaround, and, and 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 they usually make money. So that's why you know studios like making those movies. And so you know, but yeah, I I, I really enjoy this movie. I love the humor in it. Uh, you know, especially the, there's one of the open scene, opening scenes in the movie uh, that takes place. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to spoil it, but it, but but it's really comical. Uh, this this group of people, a you know, big crowd of people that uh, assemble in front of a uh, in front of a store and, and that, that kind of thing. It's you know, I think it's really funny. But uh, so I've got this movie, and then I have another movie that's uh, like you saw it in, thumb, in the thumbnail, the movie Past Lives. 
this one was actually a blind buy, uh, you know, when uh, like uh, almost like two months ago on, uh, at Best Buy, they were, you know, they're, they're getting, getting rid of their fiscal media, which really kind of saddens me in a lot of ways. But this movie is only $10 uh, there. And, and I, I just happened to go online and saw that my local store had it. And they, I saw this movie, you know, it's obviously nominated for Best Picture. So, you know, when, when I saw that, I thought, you know, I should take a, take, take a chance on that because I want to see it. I've seen all 10 of the, uh, the Oscar nominated movies and uh, I, I enjoy this a lot. It has a, was it, uh, her name is Greta Lee. Uh, I, I, for some reason I, I mix that up all the time when I say Jenna, but her name is Greta and she's really great on this. It has a, a commentary on it with the, the two stars, uh, you know, Greta and the, the, this guy and the, uh, the, the director do a commentary on it. So um, I enjoyed this movie. I, and, and the only reason why I bought it is because I, I've heard so many people, people say it's really great things about this movie. So that's when I decided to go ahead and take a chance for $10 to buy something brand new. And so it, and come, like I said, it comes with a digital code. So I thought that's a, that's a win-win really. I, I, I pretty much, I think I might like it. You know, I, I, I think it's, as far as the, the Oscar nominated movies, it's probably like, like maybe the sixth or, or seventh favorite one I saw from, from uh, 2023. So yeah, I enjoyed it. But so as far as these uh, two movies, I'm going to run this uh, contest until Friday, uh, February 23rd at 11:59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that would be 8:59 p.m. Uh, you know uh, Pacific Standard Time. So uh, uh, yeah, as far as this, I, I'd really like to see people sign up for both, or uh, or some people might love this kind of movie and may, may not necessarily want to see this movie, and you might see see the opposite. Uh, a lot of people might sign up for this that, that aren't aren't interested in Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> like I said, these are quite different from each other. One's horror, one's just, just kind of a young adult, kind of like a maybe early 30-something-year-old uh, kind of uh, viewing. But, it, you know, it, it kind of shows how di you know, diverse my, my film, film watching is. You know, I can kind of watch anything that's, uh, you know, I, I love uh, horror movies from when I was younger, and I can watch stuff that's more like uh, stuff that adults would, would like a lot more. Uh, you know, it, uh, I like them both, so, <laughs> so I, I enjoy both of these. Uh, you, you can sign up for both if you'd like doesn't matter if you've uh, won before. And this movie is obviously, uh, I think this is rated R. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite graphic, so uh, you know, if you have uh, young kids, you may not want them to watch this kind of movie, but <laughs> this, movie's, th this movie's definitely safe for, for most people. This one's like, a, it has like, a lot of it's in Korean. Uh, so, uh, I think, say maybe about 70% probably in Korean and 30% in English. Uh, you know, uh, Greta Lee, uh, she, she speaks English and Korean, and uh, I think she, thought she was really great in this movie. So, but yeah, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're interested in one or both of these movies. And I, I really hope I get a big turnout. Uh, just like uh, the last last time I did this, I really enjoy it. And, and, I, and now that I'm, I'm doing these more often, I, I'm, I've, I've gotten better at uh, doing the live streams. And maybe I'll maybe I'll stay on the live stream a little bit longer. And like I said, I, I, I do those live streams really just so I can show the wheel in real time and that's the main reason why I do them but uh, but uh, I, I enjoy doing that I, I, I enjoy seeing everyone that kind of kind of shows up on that because I, I I don't really announce exactly when they're gonna happen it's just usually usually on like a Saturday night and I like to get rid of those uh, and, you know show them on the show the wheel and get you know let people know who, who on the code so uh, hopefully maybe I get a couple new uh, winners at this time so but uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, that's the only thing I really ask is that you be subscribed to my channel. Please put a thumbs up on this video and uh, have a great one. Thank you.